to Mexico, snitches. With a cowboy, yeah. baby. We yeah, got two turntables and a microphone. We didn't know the words at all. Nope. Guys, welcome back to uh, Rard Dard to Rard Dard. Charm. Dard up. Oh my! <laughs> you must be going 80 miles an hour. This is a trap. This is a trap. <gasps> is it a trap? I don't know. I'm not used to this land yet. Just gonna go ahead and go. Oh, shot a horse. One, Sorry. One shot right into that horse. One shot right into that dude's dick. I I I I. Oh. Oh my god, bodied. Two more left. Who's here? Is she bad? Shoot the dude first. So what's up now? They made me do it, take the money. Huh. Come back here. Come back here. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you gonna do to her? Just gonna leave her. One moment. I'm not really sure. What do you think? Did she was she in on it? I mean, look. She says they made her do it. Like. I buy it. I could see that being a thing. Just being like, we won't kill you. Oh my god, can we put her in there? No. I think maybe just leaving her here is a good plan. Like, she's pretty close to the road. Somebody will get her. You enjoying yourself down there? And that's what should be. And that's what she gets. Yo, an armadillo. Where? What the fuck was that? What a beautiful creature. Oh. Okay. Yo, he flew! He, the X is right- oh, there he is. He's right there. North. Left. Right there. Anyways, we're in a foreign land now. We don't know anything. Mexico. We don't know anything now. It's time to do some missions. Where's the wolves? Wolves. 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 Are you an Irish? Seriously? Wolves. What? We're gonna go meet with Irish again? Uh, no, it's a D. Oh, it's a D. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think somebody's phone is just vibrating. Somewhere. Gotcha. Okay. We are in Mexico. Uh, I recall we are about two thirds of the way through the game, something like that. Or like we're about to start the second. But third. I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's three. Thirds. So we're a third of the game. Yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I, I feel like they're equally length. Escalera is a town we could buy a house in. Yeah, Wallace, you want us to buy you buy you a town? Hey, Wallace, you want to own Escalera? I don't think he wants to. Alright. What? What the hell was that? I don't know what's happening. Sounds awful. <gasps> oh. 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 Okay. Civilization at any price. What do you want, Gringo? Oh, I forgot about this guy. What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. This guy's like Scarface. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Oh Is boy. Not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? No. You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. What the fuck? Sorry, friend. God, chill your beans out, dude. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! 
Damn. Sure. Somewhere between the threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. <laughs> Marston's like, fuck you, man. Let's go me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. How is he D? Oh, de Santa. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. Okay. The rebels have seized the Tell us what to do, dude. And destroy a way of life. Rumor oh, has it, uh, I'm the best in the West, so, you know. Uh, I'm an invincible time-traveling gunslinger, so... Invisible time-traveling? Invincible. Invincible, okay. Time-traveling, because you can slow down time. Okay. Gunslinger. I wouldn't say time-travel, so, time, so much I would say time-sifter. Time-sifter, alright. I'll take it. An the organizer of time. Right, okay, yeah. An Yo, your face is in the foot of your dog. <laughs> yeah, he wants it there. What? Wallace likes to be, like, his face inside of, like, a... Like a tube. Okay. Like he loves like getting under a pillow. Yeah, he's licking your foot. He likes it a lot. He's not licking my foot, is he? He was earlier. See, most dogs, when you pet them and like scratch them, they like their tails wag or their ears perk. Wallace looks like he's uncomfortable all the time, no matter what. Wallace loves it. He just wants to be pet. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American. What's up with the what's up with the eye patch? Like, he's this just faking, right? Well, no, it's a costume. I get it, but like, no don't you remember we didn't have this before? We got the uh, the deadly assassins outfit. I know, but you heard anything of these men? He's not. He doesn't have an eye patch. Like, he doesn't need an eye patch. I guess some people just use an eye patch so they can see, like pirates, for for eyes for shooting with your gun. A lot of the time, pirates just have eye patches so they can see when they go below deck. Did you know that? No. So, like, they always have one eye that's, like, in the dark, so that when they, like, go below deck, they can, like, you know, open their eye and close their other eye. So that the the eye that's been beneath the eye patch is, like, already adjusted to the darkness. Mm. Isn't that weird? Kind of, yeah. Makes sense, though. Because they probably didn't have a lot of, like, fire on the boat. are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes... Okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Okay. So basically you just need us to be like your living weapon human superhero. Which we he are. There should be a game that's like an open world game like this. Except every time you do something incredible like kill like 40 men, people are like, What? You know what? I'm gonna ride shotgun. Don't you I always to? It's either or. I could ride shotgun or... I mean, this way you're guaranteed to never be gone. Oh, I can just skip to destination. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, fuck it. Wiener neen! It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. Yeah, let's go. Supplies on it. Very dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. Stop shooting! There are rebels everywhere. Come on, the train is waiting. Roasted. Warhols. Whoa! Attend to me, Warhols. Slow down, Warhols. Go. Go faster, Warhols. Come on, this way. Wait, which way? I think he went. I think he's with you to the train. Stay with the train, senor. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Are the bad guys the dudes on the train? No, right? I have no idea. I think you're probably good. I think it's gonna be like defend the train from Douchius. I mean, I'm ready. Is there actually going to be anybody who attacks you, or...? I have no idea. I don't remember this mission at all. It 
dun 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 Okay, we got some people now. A little unfair because I can't see them through the other side of the horse, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a shot. Oh my god. What else do we got? Alright, I'm stuck. Okay, this guy. Why did you get blooded? I think that guy is a bad guy. Yeah. And then on the other side of the train, these two douches, clean. How is that guy still alive? He just took two, like, shotgun blasts. Oh, shit. Alright, you're gonna have to whip around the front of the train again. Need a rifle. I have a rifle. This is a shotgun. No. This is a shotgun. No. Okay, yeah. Boom. Headshot. Done. Booyah, Grandma. Who else is here? Show yourself. Prepare Show yourself. yourself to the war horse. Prepare yourself. The Prepare war yourself horse arrives. The war horse. the war horse is here. Watch out for the war horse, mate. Look out for the war horse. Where are you? I'm not! Ooh! Wilhelm scream! Ooh! Look yeah. north! Alright, more guys. I'm going north! Oh! You got with that pull! Oh, that's the dude! That's the good guy! That's the that's fine the dude! That guy's guy. okay Don't in my book! I don't hurt the big guy! That big guy's okay in my book! Okay! It's those two guys. Got yep. you! Wah, wah, wah. You have a runner! He's done. He's done. Alright, he fell over. Let's fucking go. We're going into the mines. Is this where it's happening right now? I. Is this where it's at? No, it's just a little little underpass. What is that coyotes? Move coyotes! Here we go. Some dudes ambush party. Oh boy! Oh boy! Time cops. Go. go. Time cops. Go. Time cops. We're in trouble. I'm stuck. Time cops. Time cops. Okay, you got a couple more. One more on the right. There he is. Done. Woo! Yeah! Holy shit! Later, dude. I feel like we got this still, you know? Sorry about your teeth. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, guys. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four. Oh. And we're good. Okay. Running a little low on ammo. I feel okay. I feel good. I feel like... Like... We can do like one shot, one kill. As long as we just start like really selective about where we aim. I thought we I made I think we're it. done. Is there anybody else coming? Seems okay. Just get a little bit out of the way just in case that train hits you. There it is. Oh, you just have to get off. You can just go into town now. Where's the woman to go? Into town. Just right here? Yeah. Whoa there. Come on. Boom. Whoa there. Boom. 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 <laughs> hey. Boom. Okay. Don't worry, Wallace. Boom. Oh shit, oh shit! 
No! Oh. <gasps> They're gonna take the train we just de defended. I mean, I guess it's an empty train. You're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. <laughs> How do they like trust him with this this task? I don't know. He's just like a dude. They they. Ah, uh, whatever. Ojos, we have a job to do. So you gotta just kill everyone on the train. Oh my that was god. A lady. That was a, a lady. I just shot, shot that a lady. lady in the face. The guy in the back of the train. Oh my god, the rifle. All day. Alright. Time to stop it. Don't don't use too much energy. Nope. Oh, you're almost there. Wait. Clean. Woo. Oh. Oh. And Hill Valley was saved. <laughs> Doc Brown gets to keep his wife, and then he's gonna convert the time and machine. They have the, children. He's gonna conf convert the, the the steam train into a into a into a what do you call it? Time machine train. What are those things called? Time machine. No, the little Y-shaped thing. Flux capacitor train. There we go. Yeah. Is it a steam-powered time machine? I guess so. It's pretty clean burning. Gotta say. That was actually a sick mission. That was actually a really cool mission. It was mission. a lot of fun, yeah. Um, Who's that guy? He's probably a, one of the dudes on the train. Are we yeah. doing on time, Ted? We okay? Just keep playing? Is that what that means? <laughs> Great. He's like... Yeah. Are you- what are you playing on your phone right now, Ted? Who are you texting? Crazy oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Whoa! Yo, you want- Ted, did, did you, you send- were you texting these wolves? Were you telling them where we were? Why would you do that? You were like, nah, they're they they're bit they're long gone. And now I will skin you all very slowly. Yikes! I did, I did nothing to deserve this. He's not joking. He's gonna skin him. Yeah. Who are you texting, Ted? A penguin. You're texting a penguin. You realize I said it's on Beer Bros, right? Do they watch Beer Bros? You should not have told us. <laughs> Rap. Oh. Bradley, for the sake of Ted's privacy, don't include this part in the video. Bradley. 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 Bradley, leave it in. Please put a picture of a penguin on screen and then Photoshop Ted's face on it. Wait, Ted, come over here. Come over here. What is going on with the running? <laughs> yeah! What is happening? Oh my god! Cho. I'm in the middle You're of skinning like your brothers. Bodied by wolves. All right, Ted, come come here and and say into the microphone really clearly a penguin. A penguin. Great. Now when he says that he yeah, who, look at this. Now when Ted yeah. says <laughs> gonna go got with something, then it goes start with something. When Ted says that he's texting somebody now, Bradley, you have a clean recording of him saying a penguin that you can like put in. What? We were listening we listen to Michael Jackson. He started doing that song from that one JTT movie. That's a great song. No, it's not. End of the Innocence. I mean, it's a fine song. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's great. It's all right. Yeah. What is up with this? What's, yeah. <laughs> what's going on here? I'm on a fucking, uh, what's it called? Like the a scooter. Like, like a Segway? No, the se no, not the Segway. The, uh, what are they calling them? The, they, they were the craze all last year. They started banning them. Hoverboard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you- you're not doing anything? I'm holding it. You're pressing forward? I'm pressing forward. Yeah. This is like one of those I'm scenes- I'm the train now. <laughs> I'm the train. This is one of those scenes like- I'm the train! Where somebody's been in the desert for a really long time and they're like hallucinating and they're like- 
and like stuff is like for moving. the rest of this video i don't give a shit welcome to the R- <laughs> rdr podcast i'm gerard you're just gonna be the train yeah no one look this is great why is, is this, this not happening funny? is this not <laughs> funny it's funny i think There's you're gonna a skunk get sprayed right there. by a skunk yo ya basta burrito this is great don't get sprayed by that skunk dude if it did if I'm still rolling like you just this, smell I'm like happy. shit. You're like going down the road. <laughs> oh, Marston! Oh, oh, hey, uh, Marston! What are you doing? I can't believe this. This is great. There's I love no, this. Is, it, is there anything you can do to speed it up? <laughs> no. <laughs> unless I unless I break it by doing a run cycle. They're talking about actual burritos over there, not the food. Let's just see. They're just talking about small... Let's just see how long it'll take for us to get back to town. hundred years. A hundred years? hundred and fifty years. We have to go all the way back to Chuparosa? All the way back to DeSanta? Guys, we have a long way to go. There's no way... We're gonna make We're it. gonna sit here and do this. Alright, oh. fine. I broke it. Wait. What? I broke it. I just summoned the horse. Wait, but what if you just let go and, like, try and slide with the horse? I don't think it's gonna happen. Why not? I don't know how to make it happen. You got into that walks- that weird slide like six times. It happened because I was skinning animals at the same time. That was so weird. Come on! Or, Come you're, on. or you're gonna be riding and then like, you're gonna turn a corner and there's gonna be like, a train going full speed in the other direction. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Step Dang on it. the gas. Step on the gas. <laughs> Catch her! Here's with a garlic! Get you one! <laughs> get all drives! Get you a drive! Has some horses. Hey, horse. War horse. Catch her. Right. Hello! Where are you guys going? Those are nice guys, don't kill them. Catch her! Ride! <laughs> guys. We know that we're dumb, and we know that a lot of the things you guys catch don't- Catch Ride! The things you guys don't like, we love. Things that you don't like? Who? I don't know. Who comes in here- who comes to this channel every day and hates every moment of what they watch? Who's- why are wait, they- Wait, wait, Ted. Ted literally just said everyone. He quietly said everyone He quietly to said everyone. Or did he here's say the thing. a penguin? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna- can I get really mad for a second? Please. I'm gonna get really get mad. so pissed, dude. I'm only- I'm not- this is not- okay. Uh, Ooh, put, you're put, heated. Oof, oof, oof. Oof. Oh man, is it- is- I'm sweating. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I, I haven't Ooh. even- I haven't even said how mad I am and I'm sweating it Ooh. out. No, um, so here's the thing. He's heating up. First off, let's put a Game Wisp logo on screen. He's heating up. This means that we're not talking about anyone on Game Wisp. We love Game Wisp. He's heating we up. We love you guys. He's on fire. I didn't even say anything yet. He's eating up. And then, this also goes for the silent majority who doesn't say anything. Because okay, we have yeah, a very put, low- put, put also on the screen put like, a picture of a monkey covering his mouth. Like, speak no evil. Sure. That means that everyone who doesn't comment on this video is just chilling and watching. Yeah. Like, we're not talking about you guys. Yeah. We're talking about like the, the 10 to 30 of you that like to Come shit here post in the comments every and day. Fight us. And talk shit and every day. The same day. people. The same people. Here's the thing. Some of you guys. It's not are a good. secret. We it's love not you. a secret who you are. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter who you are in real life because we know who you are on the internet. Yeah. We never forget. Yeah. But here's the thing. We read all your comments. Yeah. We actually read them. Yeah. We do. And guess what? It hurts our fucking feelings every single time. Every time you see something mean, guess what? We. Start to cringe ourselves. Yeah. We become the cringe monster. It doesn't really hurt my feelings so much as it makes me go like... <sighs> you know? <laughs> like you're taking a sip of Pepsi? It takes about the same amount of time as taking a sip of Pepsi, but sure. it's, it's just a little bit... It's like if you like... How do I... Like if it's, it's like <gasps> if you realize that your sock had a hole in it. That's about the extent that, like, some shitlord can get me anymore. Is it shitty that I am so, like, like, shit-talked on the internet that I'm used to it and it doesn't hurt me anymore? Does that suck? Yes. But, again, 
the monkey people and the gameless people, you guys are you guys are clear in our books. You are an upstanding knight in the bleak western wilderness. Law and eyewitnesses only report crimes after the first murder committed. Great. No, I, I think it's just um I think I think the context of what we say here on the show and, and our own channels and stuff, it, it you know, the Beer Bros is very much a we're having a discussion, everything's off the cuff, nothing's super well thought out. It's just what's affecting us, we're reacting. The research is like where it's at in terms of like well thought stuff that we try and find. But we, for the most part, are just a couple of guys hanging out, talking, having yeah, a great time. Yeah, I don't time. give a shit about, like, some dude's, like, weird, obsessive problems with this game. Like, I don't care that if every time you play this game, you do it this one way. I don't care. Like, well, ga well I mean, it goes to a better it goes to a better thing, though. Video games are meant to be played by, by people that are playing by them. By people who are playing them, and they're meant to be interpreted by everyone individually. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's, that's the beauty of video games. It's like a film. Yeah. No one has to play a game or watch a movie a certain way in order to get the entire experience. The experience is yours and yours alone. Yeah. And you can't let other people dictate how you think and feel. And. Because their opinions and feelings are different. And in real life, in real life, check this out. Like, if, if this was all about, like, choosing who your friends are in your life, you know what I mean? By any means, use whatever criteria you want in your real life to judge who you are and aren't friends with. Sure. You know what I mean? I have no problem with the way that you choose to choose your friends. But, Beard Bros is just a show where we make it, we create the feeling that we are personal friends. If yeah. I meet you in person and you're cool, great. And I love meeting everybody and it's great and I love How many fans of ours have actually become friends of ours? Plenty. A lot. Plenty. A lot. But just because our whole thing is about being, like, you know, being friendly on the internet doesn't mean that you get to, like, bring your weird, like, controlly friendship bullshit to that conversation, uh, you know, with a couple of strangers. You know what I mean? I've never seen you. I don't know who you are because you're anonymous. And so, for me, it's just like, you know, I don't know. Why would, why would your first thing that you do to a stranger be well, to complain about something that they're doing. Well, not not even that, but like, if you're on this, okay, this is like the subconscious of, of the humans, right? When you are at Starbucks buying a coffee and you see a woman who's beautiful and you want to hit on her, or you see a dude who's like smelly and you want to hit and you think awful thoughts, even though you don't say those things even to yourselves, you subconsciously are projecting how you think of those people. Right. This is some lie to me shit. In sure. the sense that you substantially are judging everyone that you meet and see. But everybody does this. Right. Yes. And that's okay. But the difference is when you vocalize how you think and feel. You made and it a thing. You make it a thing. And one, like, fuck you if you do to someone in person. If you walk into a woman and you're like, yeah, yeah, like you're fucking, let's go. Yeah. And you say rude shit. Fuck you. If you walk into a dude and you're like, yo, man, you like, you're fat. You're like ugly or you're dumb. Even if you know them jokingly, sure, that's fine. It's, it's a joke, it's a bit, whatever. Context. But, context. Context matters. But if you literally are. Is this door locked? <laughs> it's like you're sharing a private thought with us by, right. by typing it because we don't know who you are. We don't owe you anything. We don't know anything about you. We have no relationship with you. And you're still coming. You don't give us any opportunity to, like, respond to you it's in any way. It's not a conversation so much as it's just, a f like, saying fuck you to the to a big screen. Yeah, it sucks. And it's different because we actually respond and listen. Yeah. We take everything in consideration. It's shitty to do it. It's actually an immoral action that you're taking by what? being a dick to a stranger on the internet. Now this, now, this, like, conversation really sounds like we're trying to, like... Shame people. We're not. We're not shaming anyone. No, I am shaming the people who are who are talking shit on the internet. Like fuck them. Well, no. I mean, I'm. What I mean to say is, like, we're not calling anyone out specifically. No, we're not absolutely trying not. This to... is not in response to any specific person by any means. If anything, this is a response to Ted saying that they everybody hates us who watches us. Right. I don't think it's true. Well, because Ted, Ted reads all the comments as well. Yeah. I don't think it's true. I don't think it's true like, that everybody Ted, who watches Ted, us. Ted is our uh, is our butters. Yeah, like we read the comments, but like he goes a step further. He like reads he has to, like, everything. He has to like roll up his sleeves and like talk to people sometimes who are like mad. Yeah, and it, and I feel ba I genuinely feel bad for him 
because he knows us and he knows that we're not any of the things that are being said, but he has to publicly and internally like figure out what not to tell us. Yeah. And what to share with the people. And it's very frustrating. I, that's my whole mantra. Be kind to everyone. You know, that's like literally my entire vibe. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell one quick story and then I'm done because we're already out of time for this episode. Um, and we, we, have to, we have a time gap here, but, um, I think he's like, get him. What? You came all the way up here to tell us that? All right. I'll fucking return your horse. He's I'll too fix far your away. Horse. We're not going to catch the horse thief. The, the, the horse thief. If, if you ran, if he didn't fucking come to the villa, he'd be fine. All right. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Um, my whole life, every time I've gone somewhere, whether it's because of my beard, my weight, my skin color, my race, sure. I've, I've always been judged. Always. Sure. I can just sense this person in the room not trusting me, not communicating to me, looking at me. In high school, it happened a lot. A lot of people thought I was a dickhead. A lot of people thought I was mean or I was like fucking weird or I was the theater kid. Right. I got called and excuse me for saying this word. We'll never say this ever again, but I got called a faggot a lot in high school. Yep. Because people were abusive and mean to me. Same. And I turned out pretty fucking good as a good person, I feel. And we did great. And we worked really hard to get here. And now it's the same shit over again in a toxic means where, you know, we have to deal with it on a public scale. When you come up to me at a convention and you say, hey, you suck. Guess what happens? Guess what happens? I get to say something back to you. Right. There's no comment box that protects you. There's, I get to actually voice my opinion of what you say. Right. And it's happened before. I have had people come up to me many times and said, hey, you suck. I hate your videos. You changed them too much. You know, what you did was awful. And I say, great. Thank you for your support. I'm sorry you feel that way. We disagree. And they'll continue. And then I have to roast them and make them feel bad. You don't have to, but the point is, at least in real life, I can defend myself. Right. At least in real life... You you know that there's a consequence for your actions. But what I just want to make clear to people... Freedom of speech is freedom of speech, yeah, well, but does not mean freedom of consequence. Right, but what I want to... Even, even simpler than that, what I want to make clear to people that I don't think a lot of people understand when they don't think about this, when they, when they, when they go online. I feel like a lot of people who write these things, these hurtful things, these, these like sort of like insensitive things, at least, let's say, like I don't think they realize that like by going online and like directly insulting someone... That's an immoral action. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, there when you're talking with your friends who watch Beard Bros and you're complaining about stuff or you're complaining how I look or you're complaining whatever, whatever. I don't care what that you... That we didn't play a game right yeah, or we I don't care something you, I don't we don't care like what you, a game I, I don't, care, game what you, I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what you think about the way that I do anything. It could bother me so much more than it does. I don't care. For me, here's, I'm the exact opposite, but I get it. Yeah. But the idea that you would go online and like directly tell me like, hey, you look like shit and you're fat or something like that. Yeah. It's like a very, it's an immoral action. So when you're walking around the Wild West. Jim West. D d rough, rough Rider, Desperado. Just don't, just think about it. Just think about that. Just think about don't. that. Just think about it. Don't. Just be nice. That's don't. all. Yeah. All right, we got really fucked up in this episode. Next time, it we're got gonna, real. We're gonna get a mess, a mission in Chuparosa. Yeah, see you guys later. Bye.